What's going on guys? In this video, we're gonna take a look at how to set up some guitars with Guitar Hero and Clone Hero. Now, this is gonna cover a bunch of different guitars and it's gonna be a pretty long video, but in the description, I'll leave bookmarks so you can just skip to the section that corresponds to whichever guitar you have. Um, this here is the new Guitar Hero wheel. This actually has Guitar Hero and Rock Band, so you can see all of the games are here. And out of the box, they're gonna be configured for the uh, first guitar we're gonna be talking about, which is the Wii guitar. Uh, it's, these are guitars that you can buy brand new on Amazon right now, third-party Wii guitars, but we're gonna get into that in a second here. So let's go ahead and exit Hyperspin here. Okay, so the first guitars we're gonna talk about are these right here. Like I said, you can buy these brand new on Amazon. I'll leave links to all of this stuff in the description. Uh, there's a few different brands that you can buy, but they're all basically the same thing. Um, and to use these guitars, you do need to also buy this adapter over here from Rafnet. Um, and this adapter basically, as you can see in this picture, just plugs in uh, to the guitar. This is what the adapter looks like. It comes with a USB cable and you plug it directly into the guitar. So with the guitar and this adapter, you can go ahead and play all of these games. You don't actually need a Wiimote. So this is gonna be the guitar that I'm going to include uh, pre-configured with my systems for anybody that owns one of my systems or is buying one. Um, so out of the box, you're gonna be able to just plug the guitar in and go ahead and play all the games. But just in case your guitar ever stops working or it doesn't work out of the box for some reason or for anybody else watching this video, I'm gonna show you guys what to do. So let's go ahead and open up a folder. Um, we're gonna start with the PlayStation 2 emulator. So let's go ahead over here to the emulators folder. Let's look for PCSX. And you wanna go ahead and look for PCSX2 1.7 guitar like this. Leave everything else alone, all right? We're gonna go in there and we're gonna start up PCSX2-QT.exe. And over here you go to settings and you go to controllers. All right, you have your first guitar right there and your second guitar right there. Make sure that this is set to guitar here in the dropdown for each one if you have two guitars. And this is pretty straightforward, guys. You just click each of the buttons here and you press the corresponding button on the guitar. So I'm actually just gonna go over here to clear mapping. Say yes to that. It clears everything out. And I'm gonna go ahead and press, uh, you know, click on start. And I'm gonna press the start button, which is that plus button. Since this is a Wii guitar, it's gonna be the plus button. So let me try that again. There you go. You can see that it took the input. I'm gonna do the same thing for select. There you go. Strum up, go ahead and strum up, strum down, strum down, and then just do each fret. So starting with the orange, blue, yellow, red, green, whammy bar. There you go. This uh, guitar does not have tilt and we already did strum down. So that's it. That Your guitar is now configured. You would do the same thing for the second guitar. I'm gonna close this out. And if we start up a game here, you're gonna see that the uh, guitar works. Now the sound is going to be off for this entire video because I do not want to get any copyright strikes. So you won't be able to hear any music, but I'll just do like a tiny bit of gameplay here for you guys. All right, so I'm just gonna check that all my frets are lighting up and you can see that they are. And I can't really play because the sound is off, but there you go. You can see that the strumming is working and uh, yeah, we're off and running. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to the Dolphin emulator that is gonna be for the Wii games. And that's where most of these games are configured through. I have only three games running through play, uh, PlayStation 2. So let's go ahead and go over to the emulators folder again, and you're gonna look for Dolphin. And you wanna look for the one that says Dolphin Dolphin Wii guitar like this. All right, open that up and open up dolphin.exe. All right, and then you wanna to go to controllers over here and make sure over here it says emulated Wii remote. If you have a, a second player, you have to have the same, the same setting. Okay, so you're gonna to go to configure and make sure you blank all of these inputs out right here. If there's something in there, just click it with your middle mouse button to blank everything out. Up here, you wanna make sure that the guitar you're using is selected. So if you click on that, um, in this case, it's gonna be D input zero, one player, W USB mote, okay? Uh, obviously, this is not it because it's a keyboard and it's not gonna be all devices. So you just select this one here. And over here in extension, make sure that it says guitar. After that, you go to the extension tab right here 
Again, here, make sure that everything is blanked out. And then for everything else, you're going to map it just like we did with PlayStation 2. So you click on the input and you press that on the guitar. Down, strum down, and then do each fret. On this one, it's nice because after you map it, you can actually press the button and confirm that it's working. And finally, we have the uh, whammy bar over here. And you have your minus button and your plus button. So there you go. You can see that everything's working now and you're good to go. Now let's go ahead and move to clone heroes. So our drive, we're going to look for clone hero in here, right here. Clone Hero EXE. All right, so for Clone Hero, the first thing you want to do is press Enter and then press the letter A to select Guest and then press your space bar to bring up the uh, input config. And just like the other emulators, we're going to do the same thing. These guitars are pretty straightforward. Some of the other guitars are going to have some... some um, some quirks that we have to go over, but these don't really have any quirks, so everything's pretty straightforward. So once again, you click on this here, which is your green fret. So you click under controller, click on that, go to replace if it comes up like this, and you can press the um, you can press the fret and press it again. All right, do the same thing for red. Replace, press the fret, press it again, and yellow, replace and blue replace that one and finally ah, you see it took an axis you have to be careful when you do this so i'm going to do it again so replace there you go orange replace and then you want to do strum up strum down Start button, which is your plus button on this guitar. And your select button, which is the minus button on this guitar. And finally, you have your whammy. Squeeze down on the whammy. See, on this one, it doesn't let you get past this. You have to wait. And now you do it. There you go. That is what it should look like for this guitar. Okay, so next up, we're going to be looking at the Explorer guitar for the Xbox 360. So again, we're going to open up a folder here, and we're going to start with PlayStation 2. So go to Emulators, go to PCSX 1.7 Guitar, and start up PCSX2.exe. Go over here to Settings, go to Controllers, and select your guitar right here. If you don't see that there's a guitar, it's because it's going to be Select it as a dual shock like this, see? So you just select the guitar right there. And over here, you're gonna uh, map all your inputs. So clear mapping, yes, clears everything out. And then we're gonna start mapping. So uh, click on start and then press your start button. Select and press your select button and strum up. Now, one thing when you're using this guitar, this guitar does have tilt. So watch out that you're not moving it up and down too much as you do these inputs because it might register that tilt. All right, so let's do each fret. Let's do the whammy bar. Clear that out because I think it uh, registered a tilt there. So let's do it again. There you go. And now for tilt, click on tilt and swing your guitar up. There you go. And strum down. Boom. Done. Do the same thing for player two and you're good to go. All right, let's close out of here. And let's go over to the emulators tab once again. And this time we're looking for dolphin. And you want the one that says dolphin we guitar. All right, open that up. Open up dolphin. Go to controllers. Make sure here that under Wii Remote 1, it says Emulated Wii Remote. Again, if you have a second guitar, same thing for the nut, for the uh, number two. Then click Configure. Make sure that all of this is blank, all right? And you blank it out by pressing your middle mouse button on each one. Make sure over here in extension, it says Guitar. And then up here, very important, see how it says Disconnected? Because right now it's set up for another guitar. So we're going to click on that. 
and you can see their X input zero device. That's what you want for this Explorer guitar. So you want to click on that. If you have a second guitar, when you go to the second uh, uh, guitar settings, you would have something that says X input forward slash one. So player one is zero, player two is one. There you go. Now I have it selected. Go over the extension tab, clear all of this out again, middle, middle mouse button on each one. And same thing, you just click on strum up and strum up, down, strum down, and do each fret. And here's your, your minus is going to be your select button or your back button. And your plus is going to be your start button. Now the whammy bar on this one is a little tricky. Pay attention to this here. It says full access Z plus, right? So if I click on that and then I try to map the whammy bar, nothing's happening, right? And then it's going to go back to that. And if I'm pressing the whammy bar, it's not really responding. You see how all of these other ones respond because you can confirm that everything's working here. So what you have to do for this one is a little trick. You hold the whammy bar down halfway, then you click, and then you press it all the way. There you go. It should say right X plus. And now if I press the whammy bar, you can see that it's responding. So again, the trick is just to hold the whammy bar halfway down, then click the input and then press it down all the way. All right. Then on this one, because it supports tilt, you want to go over here to the motion simulation tab and over here for swing, click on up and swing the guitar up. And on this one, you can actually do down as well. This one supports swing down. So if you click down and you swing it down, there you go. Now you have up and down. All right, that's it. You're all set on that one. So click close. And let's go ahead and open up Clone Hero from the R drive. Clone Hero, clonehero.exe. For this initial setup, you're going to use your keyboard. So first press enter on the keyboard. When that pops up, press A on the keyboard to select guest and then press the space bar to get into the input options. You're going to be configuring everything here in this last row. So go ahead and click this first button, which is the green fret. So let's do that. And then press replace, press the green fret, press it again. And there you go. Now do the next one, replace. Press the fret, press it again, and there you go. Now, if you notice, these are already configured because it's it's recognizing the guitar, but you want to do it anyway, just in case. So let's go ahead and do the next one. Yellow, replace, press it again. Then the blue, replace, press it once, press it again. Then the orange, replace. And then you want to go to strum up, replace. Strum down, replace your start button and your select or back button. All right, you have your tilt, so click on that and swing your guitar up after uh, after pressing replace. For this one, you have to wait for this, then do it. There you go, boom. I think you can also do, let me let me try it. You can do plus and minus as this one does have up and down. So let's do plus on this one and swing the guitar up. Okay, so orientation up is already in use. Okay, so it did that. Let's try down. Okay, cool. So I guess, yeah, for this guitar, it's probably going to be better. Instead of doing the main tilt axis, you do the tilt plus and minus since it does have tilt up and tilt down. And then finally, you have your whammy bar. Go to replace. Wait for this countdown. And go ahead and do the whammy bar now. There you go. On this one, you don't need to hold it down halfway. It just reads it uh, normally. All right, so that's it. Click done. And now you can control the game with the guitar. You can go in and out and do what you have to do. All right, for this next guitar, we're going to be looking at the Harmonix uh, Stratocaster guitar for PlayStation 3. So once again, we're going to open up a folder and we're going to start with PlayStation 2. So go to emulators, go to PCSX2, and you want the one that says PCSX2 1.7 guitar. Open that folder up, open up the PCSX2 executable and go over here to settings and go to controllers 
And then over here, you have your two controllers. Make sure that it says guitar on each one. Otherwise, it's going to look like this. So you want it to say guitar. And then this is your player one. This is your player two. All right. So we're going to go over here and we're going to go to clear mapping. Say yes to that. And this guitar is pretty straightforward. You just press each input and you press the corresponding button on the guitar. So for start, you press that and you press start. Select, click on that, click select. Strum up, strum down, and each fret. whammy bar and then tilt this guitar does have tilt so you're going to click on tilt and you're going to swing the guitar upwards so let's do that now there you go and we already did strum down that's it that's as simple as it gets you do the same th same thing for player two if you have a different uh, uh if you have a player two guitar all right close this out let's move on to dolphin so emulators look for dolphin and you want that one that says dolphin Wii guitar Open that up and open up dolphin.exe. Go to controllers. And over here, you want to make sure that for Wiimote remote number one, it says emulated Wii remote. Same thing for player two, if you have a second guitar. Then you go to configure. And over here, you see it says it's connected. Click on that and you can see there your harmonics guitar shows up. Click on that one. Now this says a zero next to it. If you have a second one, you're going to see that there's another one on the list that'll probably say one. Okay. So select zero for player one. Make sure you blank out all of these settings here by clicking on it with your middle mouse button and make sure that extension is set to guitar right here. And then go to extension, the, the extension tab. And again, you're going to map everything here. Now make sure these here are also blank. So middle click on each one. And then we're going to go ahead and map everything. So strum up strum down each fret you can confirm that everything works by just pressing each button so for minus is going to be your select button for plus is going to be your start button and here's your whammy bar there you go you can see it's working and then you want to you want to head over to the uh, motion simulation tab, and for swing you're gonna click on up, and you're gonna swing your guitar up. There you go. All right, that's it for that. I'm gonna close out, close out, and let's go ahead and take a look at Clone Hero. So that's gonna be on your R drive, Clone Hero folder, and Clone Hero EXE. All right, first thing you're going to do is press enter on the keyboard. Then you're going to press your letter A on the keyboard and then press the space bar. And then you want to configure everything right here in the third column. So for the green fret, you press on it and you go to replace and go ahead and press your green fret. Press it again. And we're going to do the same thing for each one of these. So the red is next. Then yellow. then blue and you have your orange replace press it once press it again strum up strum down your start button you have your select button now, remember when you're doing these to be careful that you're not moving the guitar up too much because it might register the tilt instead, then you, you would just do it over again. You shouldn't see anything like, for example, if, if that happens, I'll show you what happens. Yeah, see it says button five is already in use because it's used down here for tilt. All right, so let's go ahead over to tilt, replace. I'm gonna swing my guitar up, swing it up again, and it registers as button five. And here's my whammy bar, replace. That one you have to wait for the countdown. And there you go, access to. All right, so that's it guys. Let's go ahead and move on to the next guitar. All right, for this last guitar, we're gonna be taking a look at these Doyo guitars. These are like uh, wireless guitars. 
um, that you can buy brand new on Amazon right here. Um, actually, this is uh, this is Amazon. All right, so you can get them cheaper uh, from their website directly. If you can see here, they're $68.99, whereas on Amazon, they're $89.99. Um, so like I said, these are wireless. They already come with a little wireless dongle. Um, what I will say about these guitars is they're very quirky. So I'm gonna explain to you guys what I mean by that. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look. So first of all, when you plug these in, if you try to use them, they're gonna behave like like keyboard, like a keyboard. So you can see that I'm pressing the frets and it's in, uh, it's outputting keyboard keys. We don't want that for guitars. So that's the first quirk. You have to put it into X input mode. And to do that, you're going to hold down your your uh, minus button, which is this one here, as well as your PS button, which is this one here by the D pad. All right, so you wanna hold those down until the LED that is right here in the middle is in the second position. So go ahead and do that. I'm gonna do that now. There you go. I had the, held it down for three seconds and the LED moved over to the second position. And you can confirm that as an X input because if you go to the USB game controllers icon right here, by the way, this is another thing. Right now, I'm not able to click, and that's a result of putting it into X input. It, this happens when you put it into X input, so I'm just gonna simply right click over here on the desktop, and then left click, and then finally my mouse starts working again. So just keep that in mind. That's the other quirk. When you put it into X input, your mouse is gonna behave weird. So right click, left click a few times, and then your mouse will start working again. All right, so uh, if we open up USB game controllers, you can see here that it says controller Xbox 360 for Windows. You know you're in X input if you see that there, all right? But as long as you press those two buttons together uh, for three seconds and the LED moves over, you're in good shape. And then the last quirk that this guitar has is that for some reason, the start button on the guitar, you know, the one, the plus, again, this is a Wii style guitar, so the plus is your start. So that button and the fifth fret, so the orange fret, are mapped at the same. I don't know why, but let me show you guys what I mean. So if I go to properties right here, and I press the fifth fret, you can see that number one is lighting up. If I press start, you can see the number one is also lighting up. So that's not good, because if you go into the emulator and you map your fifth fret, and then you map your start button, Whenever you press your fifth fret, it's gonna act a start and it's gonna pause the game. So that's not good. So the way to get around that is to not map the start button on the actual guitar itself. In the emulator, you wanna map start to your right D-pad. There's a D-pad built into the guitar right here. Okay, there's a D-pad right there. So you wanna map it to right D-pad, which is this direction. All right, so Let's go ahead and uh, get it mapped. So let's open up a folder. Let's go to emulators. Let's go to PCSX 1.7 guitar. Open up PCSX2-QT.exe. Go to settings, go to uh, controllers. I always miss that. Um, and then these two right here on my systems, you'll see little guitars, but for anybody else, you're normally gonna see probably a dual shot controller like that. So you wanna select guitar right here then you'll see a guitar. And go ahead and clear all the mappings. Now this guitar also supports tilt. So let's go ahead and start with the start button, which we're not gonna map to start on the guitar. Remember, we're gonna map that to the right D-pad button. So there you go, I just did that. And this is what it looks like if I hover over that. You can see at the end there it says D-pad right. Okay, then select. You can use your select button, the minus button. So do that. Strum up, strum down, do all of your frets. The whammy bar and tilt, go ahead and click on it. Swing your guitar up, there you go. That should read as uh, the pad left, okay? because in, on this guitar, tilt is configured as D-pad left, so don't worry about that, that's correct. All right, that's it. That's all you have to do there, close it out, and you're done. Now let's go ahead and go over the emulators and go over to Dolphin, this is gonna be for Wii, and go to Dolphin Wii Guitar. Open up Dolphin.exe, open up controllers, make sure that here 
it says we remote one it says emulated we remote again if you have a second guitar same thing for the second one here then click on the configure button first things first up here select the correct device so on this one it's going to be x input is zero if you had a second one when you go to the other configuration over here it would say x input one okay so zero player one one player two let's go back to this one so I have X input zero selected. Make sure you clear all of these out by clicking on each one with your middle mouse button. It's going to clear all that out. Make sure that extension is set to guitar. And then let's go ahead and go over to the extension tab. Clear all of this out as well by uh, clicking on it with your middle mouse button. And let's go ahead and map everything else. So strum up, strum down. Let's do each fret. Let's do the plus, uh, I'm sorry, the minus button. And then remember for the plus button, that's your start button. You do not map the plus button on the guitar. You're gonna map that to the right D-pad button. There you go, it should say pad east, just like that. Then let's go to the whammy bar. Okay, and then let's go ahead and go over to motion simulation. Remember this guitar does have uh, tilt functionality. So for up, click on that and swing your guitar up. And it should say pad W. Okay. You can see that it's working there. All right. And that's it for the Dolphin emulator. Let's go ahead and take a look at Clone Hero. So let's go to the R drive. Look for Clone Hero, Clone Hero.exe. All right, you're gonna press enter on the keyboard. You're gonna press the A key, letter A. Press your space bar. And then here's all your inputs right here. Green, red, yellow, blue, and orange for the frets. Let's go ahead and do that. Now with this guitar, let me confirm that, but if I click on, let's say green, click on replace, then press uh, the green button, it doesn't respond. So you do have to wait for the countdown. Now you can do it, there you go. Do the same thing for the next one, replace. That one actually worked, okay. So it depends on which fret it is, I guess. I told you this, this guitar is quirky, but it works. Um, yellow, do it again, replace. That one does let you do it the first time. And then you have blue, so replace. That one doesn't let you do it, so you have to wait for the countdown. Now do it, there you go. And finally, orange. That one does let you do it. Strum up, replace, that one does let you do it. Replace for strum down. Your start button, which we're not going to map um, to, the, to the plus button, we're gonna map it to the right D-pad. So click on that, replace. Whoops, I did something wrong here, so let me do it again. Let's go to cancel. So start button once again. There you go, D-pad right. Um, your select button, the minus button. Then you have your tilt axis up, or actually you can do either up or just tilt axis. So let's do tilt axis on this. Swing your guitar up, do it again, and do replace. And the reason it's doing that is because you already have it here, but that's okay, that, that, that's correct right there. So then uh, you do your whammy. You have to wait for the countdown. Now do it, here you go. And now everything's configured. Go to done. And now you can use the guitar to navigate and, and play the game. All right guys, so that is gonna be it for this video. Hopefully it was helpful. Uh, now this last guitar is very quirky, but it's the only option if you wanna go wireless other than buying a used PS3 guitar, the Harmonix one that we went over earlier in the video. Um, that's the only other option for a wireless guitar. So um, just remember that what I showed you with holding the two buttons to get it into X input mode, you have to do that every single time, okay? So if you guys are done playing, you unplug the wireless receivers that it comes with, which you have to do. Otherwise, if you leave those in, they're gonna cause issues with other controllers, okay? So make sure you unplug those every time. So when you plug those back in, you're gonna go use the guitar, you turn it on, um, you have to hold those buttons at the same time for three seconds, get it into that second position for the LED, which is X input, and at that point, you're ready to go.
All right, I'll see you guys on the next one.